In the last video, we looked at Google Optimize for the first time and we set up an A-B test so we can have a look at different variants and see which ones are more successful. So in this video, we're going to go ahead and look at the reporting and analytics for that specific experiment. So let's jump in and have a look. In part 26 of this Google Analytics series, we looked at using Google Optimize to do A-B testing on a website. So using this, it gives us the ability to create a, a kind of new experience and set an objective that we want to achieve and then test several different variances to see which one performs best. So in 20, part 26, we set up the SSRS online course. Um, and that was just set up yesterday. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to look at what the reporting and the analytics of one of these experiences in Google Optimize will look like. Now, just one thing to note, and annoyingly, I did this yesterday, right before I was recording this one. If you pause, not not delete, not stop, but if you pause a uh, one of your experiences, then the reporting and analytics starts all over again. So this is the one we're going to review, the Forms Pro online course, which is an A-B test. And at the minute, it only shows 70 sessions. Um, it was running for about 30 days. So unfortunately, that has gone. We're going to be able to see those analytics within Google Analytics. But in terms of Google Optimize, it's kind of then lost that data or lost that information. So it's starting again. So we're going to go into the Forms Pro online course. Now, when you click on um, one of your experiences in Google Optimize that is running, it will automatically show you the reporting tab. But if I click back on details, we can see there that this is what's set up in terms of the variance. So we've got the original one with a 10% weight. We've got Forms Pro Banner. We've got Forms Pro Text and Cyber Text, and they all have a 30% weight. And then we can see all of the information that we set up. So let's go back to the reporting tab. So now what we can see is those same variants, including the original, but what it's showing us is the number of sessions or essentially the number of times that those different variants have been displayed. So we can see that within a given time frame, it's shown the original one four times. It's shown the performance for banner 18, text 22, and sidebar 26. And then what we're looking at is the experiment conversions. So we're setting up an objective and the objective for this is for someone to actually click on either the banner, the text or the sidebar to go to my um, online course. And so we can see that the forms pro text, we've had one conversion. So somebody's actually gone ahead and clicked on that. Then what we're seeing is the probability to be the best. Now, again, unfortunately, because this is only a couple of days worth of data, it's showing that the original one is the probability to be the best. Um, but what we'll see over time is that those other variants should be performing differently. And we should be able to see that. So the, the idea is at the end is you're going to run this experience for a, a set amount of time and then be able to review and say, OK, well, which one has performed the best? Which one has the most conversions? And then go and actually change our website and set it to be in in that format that we've uh, tested the variant on so then we can see the conversion rate um, and we can see a, a little chart here but what we can also do is we can click and we can view in analytics now when we click on that click on view and analytics it will take us directly to that specific experience Okay, so now that's loaded, so we can then see and review that data. Now that one's not very exciting, so what I'm going to do is go back to the original one that had run. So from the menu, if we go to behavior, we can see experiments right at the bottom. And here we can see all of the different experiments. So this is the one that I'm talking about that, um, unfortunately, because I paused it yesterday, that's it, it stopped. But we can see there that we've had uh, over 3000 sessions. So let's go ahead and look at the reporting for that one. So what we'll see is when we are reviewing this report at the top here, we've got conversions and then we've got page metrics. So in terms of actually looking at the data. So oh, cancel that. So what we're seeing here is how many sessions the number of days of data, 
and then how many users were included. So essentially, it's got 100% because every single time a user goes to that, that specific page that I've got this experiment applied to, then everybody isn't kind of included in that. So they either see the original or one of the other three variants. So now what's, what we're seeing at the bottom is, again, all of the variants in the original, but we can see that the original has a lot less um, sessions and doesn't actually have any conversions. So here now we've got that the banner has had six conversions in that time, and so that one has a higher conversion rate that's been calculated. Now what we can do is we can switch and we can say, okay, well, let's look at the page metrics for that. And so now, again, we've got the variance and we're looking at the number of page views within that. So this is very evenly spaced out, and that's because we've got it set to be 30% of the time that we show those. And then we can see the average time spent on the page for that variant, entrances, bounce rate, exit percentage, and page value, if you have a monetary amount tied to this. So... Two different places that you can see the reports, uh, but this one within Google Analytics I like, and it means that you don't have to give everybody access to Google Optimize. You can have uh, people or users that are given access to Google Analytics where they can actually go ahead and review this data. Um, so hopefully that helps. That's how you can go ahead and review the reporting and analytics for your Google Optimize experiments. Hi, I'm Megan Walker. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and that you learned something from it. If you don't want to miss out on any other content, you can go ahead and click on my face below to subscribe. And if you want to watch the next video, you can do that by clicking over here and go ahead and get started. Thanks again.